Have you ever been tortured by insomnia? I think we all have. Today I'm sharing two of my favorite remedies to bust insomnia and get some blessed sleep. I actually do these poses on my bed when I'm doing them for myself. You might want to try them on your bed too. Or you can try them on the floor. Grab a pillow if you're not working on your bed so that you can be comfortable. The first one is Viparita Karani or Legs Up the Wall. It's a yoga pose as well as a mudra. It's a beginner level yoga pose. So, let's get started. To get into it, put your hip against the wall. Then turn toward the wall and raise your legs up. You can splay your hands out to your sides palms up. You may prefer to put them over your head like a cactus. Your arms belong wherever you're most relaxed and most comfortable. You can have your hips directly against the wall if you like or angled away a little bit. If you have Issues with your low back, you might want to put a folded blanket under your low back too. But you get in here and it drains all the stale blood out of your legs. When we're upright all day long, stale blood tends to pool in our legs and our feet. If we put our legs up the wall, Gravity is reversed. All that stale blood drains out and is replaced with fresh oxygenated blood. This is also a mudra. In case you don't want that deep a dive, I've got a whole blog post about this. If you want to know about the, the mudra's effects, you can read my blog post. But this is a mudra as well as a yoga pose. Stay as long as you like. It's very relaxing, very restorative. If your legs begin to tingle or get excessively cold, that's your body telling you it's time to release the pose. You can put your feet against the wall. Put the soles of your feet together and splay your legs open. You can splay your legs apart. You don't have to do a petrified legs up the wall. When you're ready to come out, bend your knees, your feet go flat against the wall, and then roll over on one side. Stay there for a few seconds before you push yourself up to sitting. Now we're going to do Balasana or Pose of a Child and Psychic Union Yoga Mudra. We'll do the Mudra first. You do the Mudra from Pose of a Child. So sit back on your heels. Keep the toes, your big toes, touching. 
and then fold forward between your legs. Your head comes to the floor. For the mudra, we're going to clasp our hands behind our backs. I'm going to come up so that I can talk a little bit about this. While you're in the mudra, maintain awareness of your breath. That encourages a smooth flow of prana or vital energy moving up your spine, which facilitates kundalini awakening. The mudra helps your body achieve an inner state of calm and harmony. And the state of calm and harmony is then redirected toward your sensory organs, relaxing you for sleep. Release your hands when you're ready to come out of psychic union yoga mudra, and we will move on to supported pose of a child. Pose of a child is one of the most relaxing restorative poses in all of yoga. And when you do a supported pose of a child, it's even more relaxing and more restorative. So, back into pose of a child. I'm going to fall forward, turn my head to one side. You can leave your hands here. You can put your hands back like this, or you can extend your hands. Stay here as long as it feels good. And when you're ready, turn your head to the other side. I like to stay in supported pose of a child until the relaxation response spreads throughout my body. And as soon as it does, I extend my legs, move my pillow to my normal sleeping position, lie down, close my eyes, and go to sleep. I don't get up and go to the bathroom. I don't go get a drink of water. Because if you do, you're likely to lose that relaxation response and have to start all over. I hope you have sweet dreams tonight. If you have insomnia, drop me a comment and tell me what the source of your stress is. What is worrying you tonight? I'll help you with your struggles with insomnia. Come back next week and I'll be sharing more tricks about busting insomnia when you awake too early or lose your relaxation response after you've done these two remedies. I really don't like to sleep too much myself. There's too many things I'm interested in that I'd rather be doing than sleeping. But we all need our sleep or we get very cranky and irritable and unsexy and undesirable and nobody wants that. 
So scoop all this calm and harmony up, pull it down, keep it with you. Namaste.